Hi, this is Jane with Green Biz Nursery and Landscaping. Today we're going to discuss lawn care, your lawn. The first thing we're going to talk about is if you have an established lawn. How do you know if you have an established lawn? An established lawn means that it is rooted in, means that, for instance, if you have had um, sod put down, you cannot pull it up. The roots are going to hold that, saw, that grass down. An established lawn has been mowed three times. If you can't say that about your lawn yet, that you've mowed it three times, that it's rooted in, then you have to wait a little while to watch this video. We're kneeling here on an established lawn. So if I pull on this, you see I'm pulling pretty hard, it's not going anywhere. This lawn has been mowed several times. It is fully established, it is fully rooted in. Now I work for Green Biz and Green Biz does come and take care of your lawns for you if you contract with us. However, if you are doing it on your own and you are doing your own mowing, this little video is gonna be for you. Number one, mowing. You need to make sure that you have a sharp blade. Have you ever, for instance, had your hair cut and it was a dull scissor and you could just feel that it was pulling? It's that same kind of thing that happens if you have a dull blade on your mower. It's pulling on the grass instead of cutting it nice and it's going to do damage to your lawn. So say that you mowed and you don't know if you had a dull blade or not. There's a couple ways that you can tell. First, sometimes when you have a dull blade, there will be places that literally are just not cut. They still stand high. Another thing is that your grass will start to turn brown on top. That's where it's been pulled out. Um, brown grass, it's, it's going to cause your lawn to be weaker. It's gonna be more susceptible to diseases and to weeds. You don't want those. The next question you may have is to bag or not to bag. It is a myth that not bagging, in other words, letting the grass clippings go back into the lawn, is going to cause an increased thatch. In truth, what happens by those grass clippings going back into the lawn, it will help to provide nutrients to the lawn as it breaks down. The only time that you should bag your grass is if it has gotten very, very long. For instance, we had a couple of weeks of rain. I mean, two weeks steady of rain and nobody could get out to mow the grass. That grass started to grow pretty tall. At that point, it was probably a good idea to bag those grass clippings and then just use that as compost in your compost bin. Here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, we have what is called warm weather grasses, uh, Bermuda, Centipede, Zoiza, St. Augustine. Those grasses you fertilize about the time that the dogwoods are blooming. For us, that would be April. You can put lime on your lawn just about any time of year. The preferred time to do lime is during the winter months. It can be also put on though, even through the summer. Perhaps you also have questions about weeds. There are three aspects to keeping weeds out of your yard. Number one, it will be making sure that your lawn stays watered on a regular basis. Number two, it's making sure that it stays fertilized, which means that you're promoting growth in your lawn instead of in the weeds. Number three, is healthy mowing habits. By following those three things, you will be able to ward off weeds in your yard. A good example would be using your body. For instance, if you eat healthy, if you exercise, if you do what's right, get enough sleep at night, your body is going to stay healthier. And even though germs are out there and attacking you, you're going to be able to overcome them much easier. If you keep your lawn healthy, it will also be able to overcome diseases and weeds much better. This is Jane with Green Biz, wishing you a happy and healthy lawn.